Hey guys, it's Grace and today I'm going to be doing my hair care routine and tips on growing out your hair and making your hair longer. So I have kind of long hair. I had a lot longer hair like two weeks ago and then I cut some of it off like five inches so my hair was a lot longer. So I have some tips on growing out your hair and keeping it healthy and long if you guys want to grow out your hair because I know that kind of is what a lot of girls want and I know recently a bunch of people have been cutting their hair but I personally like mine longer and if you're like me these tips can be helpful and then I'm just going to be showing you all the stuff that I do to my hair, all the products I use, what I do so yeah let's just get started. So first I'm just going to start out with the shampoo and conditioner that I use and sorry if it gets like sunnier but for my shampoo and conditioner, I use the Pantene Sheer Volume Pro V Shampoo and Conditioner. And these are like huge bottles. I got the really big bottles. But I have just been recently using this shampoo and conditioner. It's a pretty good shampoo and conditioner. I'm sorry if like you can hear my brother playing basketball. I'm just putting that out there if you can hear him. But... Um, these aren't like too special, these are just the one I've been using, I don't really think that they're like a must have, but they are a really good drugstore shampoo and conditioner, and I like it because it makes my hair really soft. So after I get out of the shower, I like leave my hair in like a towel for like 20 minutes, and then I brush it out, where did I put my brush, I don't know, what's over there. But I brush it out, and I'll show you my brush in a second. And then I use the L'Oreal Smooth Intense Frizz Taming Serum. This just helps with frizz, and it helps to make your hair really soft. And it gives you 72 hours of smooth frizz-controlled hair. So I really like this. You only need a little tiny bit because it is oily, so it can make your hair greasy. And I just, like, gather my hair like this. I put it all through the ends and then like that with my hands and it makes my hair really smooth it doesn't make it greasy unless you put a lot you just um but the brush that I use on a daily basis is this brush and it is called the wet brush yep it is called the wet brush and I use this once I get out of the shower because it's just like a comb it has really flimsy like um bristles I guess and it doesn't pull on your hair when you brush it so when you get out of the shower it doesn't tug on it and it doesn't rip it this is definitely a recommendation because ripping your hair gives split ends and split ends gives damaged hair so definitely recommend getting this brush if I'm going to use heat on my hair the only heat I really use is straightening my hair sorry for keep sorry I'm touching my hair a lot okay and when I do straighten my hair or use any type of heat, I recommend and always use a heat protectant. This one has just been a really good one recently. It's the Tresemme Platinum Strength Strengthening Heat Protectant. I'm pretty sure you can hear him playing basketball. Like, shut up, he's doing that. Just a buggy. Um, but I just really like this heat protectant. It really works. And sorry. But again, sorry if the positions change. I don't really know. But I use this straightener. This is the BNY or Brilliant New York Diamond Iron. And it's like purple and it has like purple. And the reason why I love this straightener is because it has a bunch of heat settings. Up to 450 and I really recommend doing like 250 or 180 so that um, you don't damage your hair as much. But this one doesn't like get scratched up and you can use it on wet hair. It doesn't really straighten it that well, but when your hair is wet, you take the straightener like this and like a bunch of steam comes up and then it like kind of dries it a little bit and then kind of straightens it. The hairspray that I use, if I, this is the one that I use like every day and if I just want like like I don't want it to be really crunchy. This is the Nexus Come Through Touchable Hold Finishing Mist. I really like this um, hairspray. It really works for an everyday hairspray and it doesn't 
make your hair really crunchy and hard to brush through. So I do really like this in it. It actually smells. It smells really good. I don't know. But I really like Nexus hair brand and this hairspray is definitely one of my favorites that I've tried. I love hairspray. I use hairspray all the time. Like every day. And yeah, I really recommend this hairspray. And then if you want, um, like if you're doing curls and you want like to stay and be really crunchy. I mean, I'm pretty sure that well, if you put a lot in, this will keep it like keep it curled and stuff. But this one is definitely my favorite for that. It's the Susan G. Komen for the Cure Freeze It Fast Drying Mega Hairspray. This one, I actually got a bunch of these at a competition. And this, I love it because it smells like... I just sprayed my face. It smells like vanilla. And if you're a competition cheerleader, this hairspray is definitely great because it keeps your hair like hard and it really works. And it keeps your curls in, so I do really recommend this hairspray. This is mini. They don't have any minis. They only sell the big ones. I just got a bunch of samples. And then the dry shampoo I use, I do actually wash my hair every day. I know you're not really supposed to, but I kind of do. But even, like, that one day that I don't, I use this dry shampoo. This is the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. And you've probably heard so many YouTubers talk about this. I love this dry shampoo. You can find it, like, Not Your Mother's at Target and Ulta. Some other really good dry shampoos is the Herbal Essence Dry Shampoo and the Rock to Be one. Um, but this one has been my favorite. So that was all for what I use on my hair. That's honestly all that I use. And now on to my tips. I have three tips for growing out your hair and keeping long, healthy hair. My first tip is to not use a lot of heat on your hair. I know that that's basically one of the main tips. Because if you want your hair to grow long, you're not going to want to use heat because the more heat you use, the more it gets damaged and the more you have to get it cut. And if you are going to use heat every day, definitely, definitely use a heat protectant or it will burn your hair. Like, if you don't use a heat protectant and you want your hair to grow, it's not really going to work for you. It's going to take a really long time. So definitely, definitely not use as much heat. And if you do use heat, heat protectant. There's lots of videos on heatless hairstyles you can do that are really easy. So just kind of like search up a video and you might find some. So I definitely, that's definitely one of my main tips. And if you again are going to use heat, heat protectant. I'm telling you now, heat protectant. I don't know where to be. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to be. My second tip is to get your hair cut monthly or two months. Get it cut often. If you don't get it cut often, your hair is going to be so damaged. And once that takes that year to finally grow it out, if you don't cut it. I mean, it's not going to take a year, but it takes that like really long time. And then it's just really damaged. And you're going to have like this much damaged hair. You just have to chop it all off. So you. I really couldn't think of my other tip. I had three, but now I only have two. So yeah, I'm sorry that I only had two tips, but that was all for my hair care routine and my tips on growing hair. Well, my two tips kind of said tips throughout my hair care routine. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and follow my Instagram and my Twitter, both at Grace and also my Tumblr at Ocean Dash Waves 67. Yeah. Also, I am really excited because Saturday's homecoming and it's Thursday. I filmed this on Thursday and I'm uploading on Thursday because I filmed it yesterday. And I wanted to pass time and I'm about to go get my nails done because they're disgusting. I'm getting French solar or French acrylic. Yeah. So make sure you guys follow my social media, subscribe to my channel. Sorry about that. There, and I'm sorry that I haven't been, like, I didn't upload yesterday. i trying to maintain a video schedule, but at the same time, I had so much work that I had to do for school, like, so, so much. I'm taking three high school credit classes, and, like, girl, you don't even know. This is the longest outro I think I've ever made, so I hope you guys enjoyed, 
and I will see you in my next video. Make sure you cross my last one too. Bye. She like the way I see.